Ganesha is known as Vigneshwara because his devotees believe that Ganesha sorts out all obstacles and difficulties. There are many stories which narrate how he saved even the gods. One among them is the following. Ravana, the ten-headed demon king of Lanka, was a mighty and ruthless monarch. Ravana was a devotee of Shiva. No matter where he was or how busy he was, he never neglected the ceremonial daily worship of his favorite god. Naturally, Lord Shiva was pleased with him. One day, I want to become the monarch of three worlds. The only way is to invoke Shiva's blessings. So Ravana went to Kailash and began extremely rigorous tapas. Fixing all his thoughts on Shiva, he commenced his meditation standing on one foot. Months passed, but Shiva did not make his appearance. Finally, Ravana lost his patience. It seems the Lord will not be pleased by mere penance. He probably expects a sacrifice from me. Well, if that's what he expects, he will get it. What better sacrifice can I offer him than my own head? Without any hesitation, he chopped off one of his ten heads. This is my offering to you, O oh great Lord. Still, there was no response from the deity. Ravana then cut off his second head. Even this did not provoke any response, so Ravana severed off his nine heads one by one. Still, my Lord is not satisfied, so let me offer my life. Ravana raised his sword and got ready to apply it to his neck for the last time. All of a sudden there was a blinding flash and Lord Shiva appeared. No, my son, do not give up your life. With great joy, Ravana bowed. I am greatly pleased by your devotion. I bless you with unparalleled strength and power. The nine heads which you sacrificed shall also be restored to you. The next moment, Ravana found himself filled with a new valor and power. Ask for a boon, Ravana. Lord, I want you to come with me and take up residence in Lanka. On hearing this, Lord Shiva was dismayed. Since he had given his word, he said, I shall give you my Atma Linga. This is a reflection of myself in the form of a Linga and hence is extremely powerful. You may carry it to Lanka and worship it. And it is as good as my being there in person. It will bring you unlimited power and prosperity. He, however, cautioned Ravana. Ravana. Don't put this Atma Linga on the ground, even for a moment. Once you put it on the ground, you cannot get it back. He then disappeared. The gods trembled to see Shiva's Atma Linga in Ravana's hands. Now with the Shiva Linga itself in his possession, they were in great danger. They did not know who could protect them. Then they remembered Ganesha. They went straight to him and explained their troubles to him. The kind Ganesha consoled them. He filled them with courage, saying, I shall not allow Ravana to get Shiva's Atma Linga. Have no fear. The gods went away, and Ganesha followed Ravana to carry out his mission. Ravana was on his way to Lanka, carrying Shiva's Atma Linga in his palms. He came to the west coast. By then, it was evening. It was time for Ravana to perform Sandhya Vandana, the evening prayers. Ravana was in a fix. The Lord has instructed me that the Linga should not touch the ground. How will I perform Sandhya Vandana with the Atma Linga in my hands? Uh, there is no one in this deserted place who can help me. He stood there 
thinking. I must perform Sandhya Vandanam. What shall I do? Ganesha was following Ravana and was waiting for a chance. Hmm, I can understand Ravana's difficulty. Let me help him. He appeared before him in the guise of a small boy. When Ravana saw him, he became very happy. Ravana called him and said, Little boy, will you hold this lingam till I perform Sandhya Vandanam and return? It appears to be very heavy. Please put it on the ground and go. No, I cannot do that. It should not be put on the ground. Please keep it in your hands till I return. Suppose it becomes too heavy for me. I will return quickly, my boy. You are a clever fellow, aren't you? Please hold it in your hands, my good boy. The boy agreed. Okay, I will hold it. But if it starts feeling heavy, I will call thrice. You will have to come immediately. If you don't come, I will put it down. Okay. By the way, what's your name? My name is Ravana. Hold it. Remember, this should never be put on the ground. He walked towards the sea to perform Sandhya Vandana. Ravana had hardly started when Ganesha cried out. Ravana, it's too heavy! Ravana heard Ganesha's voice and got scared. But he could not return without completing the Sadhya Vandana. So he cried out. Boy, I shall be back soon. Whatever happens, don't put the lingam on the ground. By the time Ravana was offering holy water to the gods, Ganesha cried aloud. Ravana, it's too heavy! Oh, Ravana! I can no longer bear the weight of this lingam. I shall put it down here. Saying this, Ganesha put the lingam on the ground and disappeared. Ravana completed the Sandhya Vandana in haste and ran back. His worst fear had come true. Shiva's Atmalinga was firm in the air. No matter how hard he tried, Ravana could not take it out. It was not an easy task to prevent Ravana from getting Shiva's Atmalinga. With his sharp intellect, Ganesha completed this difficult task easily.